Okay, so this is the first part of our why to buy our manifolds and why we think they're the best on the market currently. Um, this is the first part, which is the collector of the manifold. Um, so this is the first bit you make, isn't it? That is the yeah, the first bit that we make when we're making a manifold is the collector. Okay. So obviously this is a four branch one for an SR20 manifold. And an SR20 top one. Okay, and then that's a T3 flange, isn't it? And that is a T3 flange. Okay, so what you notice about our manifolds is that the T3 um, kind of flange hole? <laughs> flange hole. The port. Um, the port is pretty much the, exactly the right shape of the T3 port. Um, whereas some of our competitors manifolds are more of an oval shape. Um, how how do you do that? What's what? different? So why, so why is ours more square than... So basically what we do, instead of just uh, guessing the pipe work uh, and plonking it on the top of uh, a flange um, and then sort of making it the right-ish shape and then just welding around the outside, what we do is we actually have the exact shape on the inside which is slightly larger when we first start out, 3mm um, thick because uh, the tube is 3mm thick um, and we push it all the way through the flange um, and then weld around the outside, uh, around the actual ceiling face first. Okay, so you've got, so we weld all the way around here, that's right, isn't it? Yeah. And then so we clean it back up. Then we clean it back up and port it to the exact size of so the then that turbos. matches this, basically, rather than kind of being two different shapes, which isn't very good for gas flow. Not particularly. Um, so that's one part of it. The other part, we have this very nice point in here, which is you weld inside it, don't you? So yeah, so when we've welded all the tubes, or when we've cut the tube in the first place, it has a point on it, but obviously when we weld all the way round all of the pipes on the inside, um, you tend to lose that shape a little bit. So what we do is we weld it quite hot on the inside and add some wire as well. Um, this means we get the most amount of penetration on the inside, which gives you the most amount of strength. Um, and then we clean all of these point, all of that weld off afterwards. Pretty much, there's still the, the weld that's inside there, but we clean off all the outside of weld where it's misshapen um, to make it a very fine point, which helps increase flow. It looks really good too. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> and of course, the weld around the outside here as well, um, which is, I mean, once it's on the car, this is pretty much unseen. But when you've got it in your hand, it's a nice new manifold. It's, it's very nice to look at, especially when it's just in a collector form like this. Um, and also the point inside, once you've got a turbo on there, is completely invisible, which is a great shame because it does look very nice. Um, now, for those of you who haven't, or don't know about manifold, this fifth port on the side is a wastegate port. Um, so this will go off to your wastegate, or some people will just put them straight on the end and on the setup, don't they? Yeah, you could even have, it depending on how you have your wastegate sat in your engine bay, I mean some people have like screw pipes sat on the bonnet, some people have them down below, some people have them plumbed back in. Um, we sell them so that it's just a stub basically like this, um, and you can either weld your flange straight onto the end of there and have your wastegate there and rotate it to wherever you want to do, or some people have a bit of pipe work sticking off so they can put it wherever they want. Um, basically all these cars are custom so they need to have as much flexibility with our design as humanly possible in order so that you can get exactly what you want from what we're making. And of course we always recommend keeping the pipe between here and your wastegate as short as possible um, which helps keep the manifold working properly effectively so you don't have so much weight hanging off of it. And we take a lot of time to try and brace it and make it as strong as possible around there. Um, but obviously if your wastegate is two foot away from it and you're going over bumps and rough ground in the car, it's flapping around up here, it does put an awful lot of stress on the manifold, um, which is, that's one of the main failures on the cheaper manifolds, isn't it? Yeah, on the, I mean, on cheap manifolds, mainly the wastegate port just snaps failures. straight off, <laughs> basically, um, if you don't support the wastegate, but um, we try and make them as short and as thick as humanly possible to get that strength in there. And of course we also use um, a 10mm thick flange uh, from the same 3 or 4 stainless steel that the, the whole rest of the manifold is made from. Um, and the tubes are 3mm thick aren't they? Just three so thick. they're really strong and really tough. Um, I mean some of them will withstand in anti-lag use. Um, about a so Matt Carter to run his for how long anti-lag? Three and a half years I think he's been years. running constant anti-lag through for it when he's driving obviously because he's just constantly got there. The anti-leg on which is just chucking fuel 
put in temperatures of excess of 950 degrees centigrade for the, for in the collector part of the manifold, which is an outstanding thing for three or four stainless to, to take, to be honest. But it, with our manufacturing processes and the amount of welding and time and care and preparation that we put into them, they, they will stand it quite well. And, uh, how long does this take to make from, from nothing to this point? So something like that probably takes about four to five hours just to make make that one small part. That's the so initial bit. Four to five hours, just over half a day really. Um, and that's pretty much everything there is to say about the collector, isn't it? There's not a huge amount more about the collector, but there's many more parts of the manifold which we'll talk to you about in a bit.